Hi, my name is Stephanie and I'm with Robbins Plumbing and this is Travis and he is our local insincorator rep. And today we are going to help you guys choose a disposal based on horsepower and its features. So today, Travis and I are going to help guide you through the complicated process of purchasing a disposal, not just based on horsepower. So horsepower alone isn't a deciding factor for purchasing a disposal. And I did a lot of research myself in Google, and a lot of those pamphlets said that you choose horsepower based on how many people are in your home. And I am going to disagree with that. And while that's a generalized factor, where you're gonna choose one third or half horsepower if you have one or two people in your home. I'm a great example of a half horsepower didn't work. There's two people in my home and I went through three half horsepower disposals before I upgraded to a one horsepower and I just can't seem to break that thing. So I really wanna help guide you guys through the process, not based on horsepower, alone, but your lifestyle to help you choose that and the features and benefits that disposals offer now because disposals aren't what they were 20 years ago. It's not just slapping a disposal and exchange it. We're all doing more cooking at home. We're doing a lot of things at home that maybe necessarily we didn't do before. So choosing based on horsepower is one of the options. So disposals come in half horsepower, one third horsepower. I rarely say one third horsepower because it's professionally not something that we ever recommend. A one third horsepower is great for a family who rarely uses their disposal. A couple of times a year, they're only putting down uh, vegetable scraps or fruit scraps, very, very low volume. It doesn't have a lot of horsepower behind it, so it's not something where, you know, for a standard household that's putting things down there consistently that it can keep up. So something that I found professionally is that people who rent out their homes try to go and cut corners and put a one-third horsepower in. It never works out well. So one-third horsepower just doesn't have the oomph for most households. So it's not even something that we stock. And it's like something that for us is like, wait, no, 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 you don't want to do that. So half horsepower is very standard and you can get all the way up to 1.1 horsepower, but how much horsepower do you really need? And it really isn't based on how many people are in your home. It's based on your lifestyle. So things to consider, how often are you entertaining? How many people are you cooking for? How often do you use your garbage disposal? So for example, let's say you're a homesteader. You probably don't use your disposal very often and you're uh, putting those scraps into a compost or you're putting your bones into a beef broth or a chicken broth, that kind of thing. So how often are you really using your disposal is something to consider, not just the size of your home. So other than horsepower, which I mean, of course, more horsepower, horsepower is better, right? Think of the Vitamix. Is a ton of horsepower and it can devour pretty much anything. I have several myself, right? Um, but you wanna think above and beyond that to some features. So that's why I've asked Travis to come in today and help explain some of the features and benefits that upgrading above and beyond horsepower can provide for your home and for your lifestyle. So he's gonna cover some questions for us today because honestly, when I was doing this research, I had a few things to learn. So my buddy Travis at Insincorator is going to help us with those questions today. So one of the things that we're going to cover is warranty. And something that I really love about Insincorator versus, say, specifically other things that you may buy, where they're like, do you want to buy an extended warranty? It's not the same with Insincorator. You're not buying an extended warranty. You're buying a better product. So Travis, tell us all about the warranty within Syncorator and why it's better and how the product is better as you upgrade. All right, so one of the things to look at and take into consideration is there are several stages of warranties within the Syncorator line. We go all the way from as minimal as one year all the way out to 12 years with the upgraded models. Some of the things that help uh, give it a longer warranty is they go from having basic products being utilized within the grinding chamber, such as galvanized steel, uh, and they go to stainless steel, 
once you start upgrading uh, to the higher disposals. And on the top of the line one, we go to an alloy based stainless steel. So those are some of the small features as far as how they get their warranty to extend out. So like, and with a one third horsepower, they're gonna get like a one year warranty where when they're upgrading all the way up to horsepower and those other features, they're gonna get up to how many years warranty? It depends what the models that you are going with. Uh, so for example, the third of the horse, it only has a one year warranty, that's standard. Uh, and as you go up, the half power, or excuse me, half horsepower only has a three year warranty. As we start to step up in the higher end models, which is where three quarter horsepower and above, then we start going into the seven year warranties, uh, nine year warranty, 10 year warranty, and 12 year warranty, but they're all very model specific. So something that I love as a professional is the warranty. And while we've installed, like I told you earlier, gosh, probably over 100,000 insincorator disposals and haven't had to have a client use the warranty period, something I love is the warranty and how easy it is to use. So can you explain a little bit about how, if someone needed to use the warranty, how that works? That's a very good point to bring up, Stephanie. So one of the neat things that Syncreator does is they have a we come to you warranty. So with that being said is if you are the consumer and you have had your product installed, we'll, we'll say three years down the road, you have issues and it's going bad. You don't need to necessarily call a plumber out, buy a new disposal or even have them come out to fix it. What you're going to do is there's several different options that Syncreator has. You can call them and they will send you you can call in Syncreator, you can email in Syncreator, and you can text in Syncreator, and they will get the process set up to have a certified representative come out to your home to either fix or replace the model. I love that so much. Like, I don't ever want to use a warranty, but when it's easy to use, you just feel better, have peace of mind. But I love that we haven't had to use it. They built a good product. That's all there is to it. There's a reason that they're the number one manufacturer and it's because they build a great product. So one of the things that I love that Insyncorator has started to incorporate into their series is some of these sound dampening qualities. The last thing that I want as a homeowner I'm entertaining or I'm just having a relaxing evening with my husband is to turn on the disposal and have my conversation interrupted. Hold please for the next available representative. So Insyncorator has some incredible sound dampening stuff. In fact, they have the model on the line that is the quietest disposal on the market. So I'd love you to explain to us how some of those sound dampening qualities work and what they can expect when they upgrade to something that's quieter. Okay. Uh, so some of the insulation works on the disposal As such, we have a layer of open cell insulation that is, surrounds the motor to keep the noise reduction down. The other aspect that Insyncreator does is on the collars, they put a rubber gasket in here. So in turn, what that does is as you, your flange is mounted to the sink, thus having your disposal mounted underneath the flange, it helps when this device is kicked on to prevent uh, movement and any movement or deflection that is, is not being transformed into sound. Okay, that makes sense. So it's dampening the sound at the connection to the sink as well as around the motor where all the noise is happening. Correct. Gotcha. Okay. So, and it is way quieter. Like it's a hugely noticeable difference. It is significantly noticeable, especially as you upgrade into the models uh, of the Syncreator brand itself, the more insulation that they add on these individual models, Stephanie, it just creates a, a less sound perfusion coming from the device. I heard some reviews where they could barely hear it at all when it was running. I think that's wicked cool. My original half horsepower was not that quiet. Your typical third and half horsepowers <laughs> are gonna be rather noisy. Yeah. Okay, so another thing that I love since we have this out, I would love for you to talk about the features that come with some of the upgraded models where it is sensing the anti-jamming. So it has the anti-jamming as well as the um, 
and I'm totally drawing a blank on what it's called. So, but it's anti-jamming as well as it is going to unjam itself because that's very cool. One of the key features that you just mentioned, Stephanie, with the unjamming technology is that the Insyncorator product will actually detect when it's jammed up and it will reverse spin to unjam that product. Traditionally on some of the lower end models, like your third horse and half horsepower, you would have to get, stop what you're doing, shut the water off, open your cabinet, go down underneath the cabinet, grab your wrench, first unplug it, grab your wrench, uh, and you would have to manually toggle the uh, grinder shear, the grinder lugs inside of here to break that jam free. Then there's also a reset button that you would reset the device with, plug it back in, and hopefully that would have cleared the jam. Mm -hmm. But with some of those higher ones, they're not having to do it. It's doing it on its own. Automatically does it. And I just think that's cool. So I've only, you know, really had to unjam it myself a few times, but it's kind of a pain. So I mean, typically I'll yell, husband, you know, make yourself useful. Okay, so I want you to also tell us about the feature that uh, Instinct Creator has in some of their top of the line models where it isn't just going to unjam the disposal for you, but it's going to sense that there could be a jam and prevent it. Good point, Stephanie. So what this device will do is when it starts to feel that it's got uh, something that is providing resistance within its grinding chamber, it's going to go ahead and increase its torque to overcome what is beginning to jam up that device. Therefore, it's gonna clear the, the jam out on its own. Okay, so like harder products like bones or things like that, if it senses that you know, it could jam, it's gonna increase the torque that's behind it to process it through. Yes. Without jamming. Without jamming. That is so cool. So another feature is there are some smells that can come from a disposal from this top portion, so not including the chamber, but Insyncurator has come up with a solution to help with the smells that come here from the collar. So can you tell us about that? So it's really simple. Uh, what Insyncurator has done is just added, added in an antimicrobial product that's added into the collar. Can you say that three times fast? No, I can't. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> antimicrobial. So, it, and it just helps prevent with the smell and the odor. It's more of a resistant type of application. You're still gonna need to properly maintain your disposal to keep any of the smells coming from it. And Stephanie, I believe you have a tutorial on how to clean disposals. I Am do. I correct? I do. Okay. With some magic ice and fancy things like that. So um, as far as, I mean, are there any other features that you feel set in Syncorator apart from maybe some of its competitors? One of the additional couple items that set in Syncorator apart from its competitors and also get better or change as you upgrade models are its grinding capabilities. Uh, there are single stage grinding, there are two stage grinding, and then we have three stage grinding. So would you like me to go into a little bit more detail I on would, those, I would, because that was actually one that I had to learn, and I've been at this for a very long time, and I didn't know what the different grinding capabilities are. So I'm confident that I'm not the only one. So inside of your grinding chamber, there are lugs in there. So these lugs often act like a propeller, and what they do is they take your food and they push it to the outer wall of the grinding chamber, and in that area, on a, two, on a single stage, it's just grinding the material and then passing it down through the drain. As you upgrade models and get into a two-stage grinding chamber, what that device is doing is not only pushing it and grinding it, it's also pushing into the cheese grater. Yeah, I'll just have to back up. I totally called over. it a cheese grater. So, so, but you guys have like, basically those spikes to me look like little knives all over the side of it that are not just you know grinding, but we're chopping and grinding at the same time. We are, we are chopping, grinding, and we're also shredding. Okay, because yeah, when I'm looking in there and trying to what is happening, and I'm looking at how the food gets pushed up to the walls versus a regular model that just has, I mean, what I'm describing as a cheese grater, the upgraded model has all kinds of little knives basically sticking out of the sides 
that, I mean, it's obviously going to shred some stuff. So those are the models where you can start putting bones down and things like that, right? Correct. Okay. Um, so, and then as far as the third stage, when you get up to a three stage grind, what's that third stage that happens? So the third, the third stage is going to be an undercutting disc, which allows as a third pass before it finally dumps into the drain, there is a plate on the bottom of it that is acting as a third cutting device before the food go, falls into that drain. Gosh, and when we looked up how many times that wraps around a minute, it was insane, like 1,700 something times, yeah, right? Yes, about, I believe it's right around 1,725 revolutions per minute that these devices are at minimal operating at. So by the time you get through three stages of grinding, you've pretty much pulverized anything that's going through there and turned it into mush? Pretty much so, and it allows for less clogging in your drains of your pipes and stuff. Okay. And that's very cool. But I am gonna say like disclaimer wise, just because this bad boy can grind pretty much anything that you can put in it that is a compostable material, saying it's something that's food. Uh, so, cause I will admit, I've accidentally stuck a shot glass down here. It's happened more than once. As well as silverware, that's a thing. Stop doing that, Stephanie. Um, but as far as what we experience past this point where the food comes out of the line and is going out, so it actually comes out here, this is where it connects to your um, dishwasher, but it's coming out here, is that if you have grease or sludge or anything that's sticky in your line, it really doesn't matter how much this has pulverized something. Um, some products like eggshells, coffee grounds, rice, uh, pasta, beans, uh, potato peels, Mm, that's a that's a thing. Um, they're gonna end up hitting a tea that comes past here, mush or otherwise, and can harden, stick, that kind of thing. So you really still do wanna respect what your plumbing system can do, not just what your disposal can do. I mean, we were laughing earlier that, I mean, I could put a body in here, just saying. I won't, I promise. Uh, <laughs> maybe, right? So we call this the Dexter model, cause he'd be proud, right? <laughs> but your plumbing might not be able to handle that. So just keep that in mind when you're using it. But ultimately we really want you to know that there's a lot more out there than just turning on a button, grinding some food. There is, you know, you can really make it quiet. You can, I mean, where you barely hear it, like that's something important to me. I really paid to upgrade my dishwasher, for example, cause I don't wanna hear clank, 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 clank while I'm in my kitchen trying to enjoy life. So Insincurators come out with some really amazing features above and beyond horsepower. Uh, but one of the other things, if you don't end up getting a higher upgraded model that I love about Insincurator versus some other models out there is the ability to unjam it on your own. So one of the most common calls that we get, uh, you know, furnished by owner, garbage disposals, uh, that kind of thing, is that it's jammed up six months later and there's not an easy way to unjam it. So something I love that Insincorator has done is they have an easy way, like he was describing, more like an infomercial, right? You get under the sink, you open it, you get out your wrench. It's not that big of a deal and that's something that I love is that you get an Allen wrench, you loosen up those plates that are in there, you unjam what's going on, push that reset button, and you're good to go without having to call a professional out versus other brands that really make you dependent on calling a professional every time something happens. So that's something that I love above and beyond. Um, it's as far as something I professionally feel sets in Syncorator apart from some of the other brands that are out there. But the multiple grinds is awesome. It is, it's an awesome feature. My favorite feature though is the sound reduction. Sound reduction is the biggest key complaint that we tend to hear. Sure, yeah, I mean, it's a, a big deal and we're all entertaining in our kitchens now, we're all cooking in our kitchens now, not going out so much. So, you know, some of those things that just make living a little bit nicer are, are very cool features to me. Okay, so if you would like a consultation on a disposal, the models that are available, the features that are available within those models, my guys are awesome. They will definitely guide you on your lifestyle, asking those questions, what's gonna be the perfect disposal for you. Keep in mind that this is something that you should have for another decade. So we wanna make sure that you're choosing the right one the first time, not necessarily even for how you use it today, but how you may use it in the future. 
So that's where those consultations come in and we guide you through that process. So you make the decision right the first time. Buyer's remorse is horrible. Um, so you can reach us at 623-486-4657. Of course, you can conveniently schedule on our website at robinsplumbing.com or chat with one of our office and they'll get that set up for you. Thank you. You're Thank very you welcome, so Stephanie. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much.